what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I have a Kendall Jenner inspired makeup look it's been like the number one requested thing on my channel literally I get so many comments asking about it or telling me that I look like Kendall Jenner I really don't see the resemblance you guys like I genuinely don't but I was like you know if everyone's asking for it I'll just let you guys have a tutorial on it this is what I kind of pulled bits and pieces from different makeup looks that I've seen her wear on red carpets or on her Instagram. I kind of just pulled these together and I was like, you know what, this is kind of what I feel like she does. I feel like she always does bronze, smoky eye, false individual lashes, glowy skin, and then a nude gloss. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you're new to my channel. That would mean a lot to me. My name's Jackie. Hope you join the fam. And yeah, if you guys have any other video request ideas, let me know or what you guys think about the makeup look. I would really genuinely want to know. And yeah, let's get right into this makeup tutorial. I already kind of started this eye just to get a little practice. Um, so I'm going to be using the Morphe 35O palette for this tutorial. If I keep sneezing, I'm sorry. I'm like super sick right now. It's disgusting. So if I sneeze like a thousand times, I'll try and edit it out. But I'm also sniffling and my nose is really red. So anyways, okay. So I'm going to dip into the Morphe 35O palette. This makeup tutorial is like super bronze. And I don't have like a bronze palette, which is so weird that I wouldn't have that. Now that it is my sister. So I was like, okay, I think this is like the most bronze palette. Bronze palette that I have. It's like the most brownish one. So yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to work with this, you guys. So I'm gonna start off by taking this brown shade right here, that one. Take this on a fluffy brush. This is a Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush. It doesn't really matter. I just want this to be kind of like the overall color that we put all over our eye, in our crease, and then also in our eyelid. And I feel like Kendall has very kind of almond shaped eyes that's kind of hot I don't even know if it would be almond but I feel like they're just very elongated they're kind of like mine a little bit um so it doesn't really matter how I do my eyeshadow because I kind of have the same eye shape as her but if you don't have elongated elongated eyes or like almond eyes you just want to make sure to bring the eyeshadow as like kind of far as you can um not to not to make it like angled or sharp or anything just bring it out to just kind of make your eyes Along it, if that makes sense. Um, so that's why I'm like fluffing this out all the way over here, but I don't want it to be like one of those like sharp little V's or anything like that. And then lightly bring it into here. Okay, so then next I'm gonna take like a more warm brown. I'm gonna take this one right here. And I'm gonna take that on a Beach Cosmetics number eight carnival set brush. Very, very lightly take it, and this is just going to add a little bit more definition into our crease. She just doesn't have a lot of colors in her crease, but I felt like I needed a little bit of a darker brown in there. Just so it didn't look like super off-balanced. And then just go in with a blending brush and just grab some like the soft brown shade that we used earlier and just kind of fluff out the edges and make sure they look nice and soft. Okay, and then on the lid, she, she doesn't really have any dark brown in the crease, not that much, but on the lid, you can tell like on the edges, she has a little bit of like some dark bronzy something on there. So I'm going to take, which one did I use? I'm going to take this color from the palette this one and mix it with a dark brown and I'm going to just blend that onto my lid first and then diffuse it a little bit and whatever's left over kind of put it into the crease yes so I've been just uh, I just said it. <laughs> oh my dog is like dreaming so loud oh my god anyways this has been like the number one requested video that I have is to do a Kendall Jenner inspired makeup look is awesome I mean it's obviously like a compliment as much as people want to hate her or hate Kardashians and the Jenners whatever I just think it's like a huge compliment because I think she's really really pretty so when people say that I look like her I mean that's a really nice comment so I don't see the resemblance whatsoever um, 
I really really don't the only thing that I could maybe think of is maybe the eyes like the lashes I don't I really don't know and like even my friends are like what like I don't see the resemblance whatsoever but I was like you know what if you guys are requesting it I'll just do it and I mean hopefully I don't disappoint you guys I feel like everyone's expecting me to look exactly like how she looks which is not the case whatsoever like, so now we're gonna move on to like the shimmery bronze part of the lid which is so pretty I'm obsessed with it um, you're gonna need some setting spray for this if you want to I mean you don't have to wet your brush but I prefer to wet my brush when I'm doing bronzy makeup looks I just feel like it's it's much better so I'm just gonna spray it with this per miracle mist I always use this I love this for my face too I should probably stop using that for my eyes because I love that for my face um, and for the shimmery color there wasn't any specific colors from the morphe palette that worked for kind of like the bright color she has so I'm gonna take the beach cosmetics Shannon XO Shannon XO Shannon XO 9 color eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna start off by taking this shade right here tap off any extra and then just kind of put this I hope you guys can see I'm going to go in with the Morphe palette and I'm going to take these two shades. This one and this one. And that one's going to be like the second transition little color. You're just going to kind of like diffuse all of them together. Okay, so I thought the camera was recording, but next I'm going to take this Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Chrome in Bronze Sheen. It looks like that. It looks really, really bronze, but it doesn't look that way when you take it out. So I'm going to apply this on top of the color. It's going to be different layers of bronzes just because I don't have one bronze color. And then the last bronzy color that we're going to apply is from the Shannon XO palette. It's this shade right here. And I'm going to apply that on the outer part. And then in the end, we're going to blend everything. Don't worry, I know it looks a little messy. Okay, I'm going to take some mascara now. And I'm going to take the... Oh my god, I almost just take up. <laughs> I'm gonna take the Tarte Camera Lashes, Lashes Mascara, um, and I'm gonna apply some of that. We're gonna be applying individual lashes, so this doesn't really matter that much, because we're gonna be applying some volume later. Okay, so now we're gonna apply some individual lashes. She has like super flared lashes, they're not anything like crazy, or you can't tell they're like a band, so I can definitely tell that they're individual, and I love wearing individual lashes, they're like my favorite. So I'm going to take that Illuminate by Ashley Tisdale Lashes. That's how the box looks like. And it's kind of messy because I like messed it up. But that is how the lashes look like. I know they're ugly. I kind of spilled all my glue everywhere. And I'm going to start by taking the long ones first. And then putting like three here. Doing three long ones, three medium ones, and then one short one. Just like that and I'm just gonna finish off the rest of the eye I have a tutorial on how to apply false lashes which I'll link false individual lashes which I'll link down below if you guys want to see because this might take a while but see how pretty they are oh, I'm gonna get back into it because I just love the flare it gives okay so once we have something like that we're gonna push them in once they the glue dries we don't want to do that now because then the glue is gonna stick to the tweezers but do you guys see how individual lashes are just much better like look at that I mean, yeah, they're a little bit more time consuming, but I definitely think that they are worth it because they just look so much more natural, I feel, because you can't see the band, which is like what I like. Um, so now I'm going to take this Maybelline Master Ma Lasting Drama Light Liner. This one is in shiny bronze. It's just like a little pencil that you can use anywhere, but you can also use this on your waterline. And 
in that photo, you can tell she has some like bronze color in her waterline. And then for the inner corner and the brow bone, I'm gonna go in with the BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlighting Kit. And I'm gonna take shade green. So dirty, you guys. It's disgusting. I just use it all the time. <laughs> so that's why it's so dirty. That's gonna be our inner corner and our brow bone color. I just literally don't have any dewy foundations. Um, so I'm going to use this. This is in the shade I'm just going to take some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and then I'm also going to just set that with some Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. Okay, so now that everything is set, I just, oh, I love this foundation. It just looks literally so flawless. We're going to go in with some bronzer, and she's super bronze in this makeup look, like super crazily. You can do some, like, cream contour if you want, but I don't really feel like doing that. I feel like just powder bronzer would be enough. So I'm going to go in with the Rimmel Natural Bronzer, Waterproof Bronzer. I wanted to try something new since I said in my last video that I've just been obsessed with the Tarte one, and I needed to kind of branch out a little bit, so I'm, I'm not... I'm going to dive into this one and see what happens. So I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics Blush Neutrals Palette. And I'm going to take this shade right here. That one. And I'm going to mix it a little bit in with a bronzer so it's not too reddish or anything. Because it's kind of just like more of like a bronze, orangey type of color. You can tell she starts it from the back and then blends it up. Okay, so her highlight is kind of whitish. I was looking at other pictures. It's more of like a white silver-ish type. It's not really gold. It's not really bronze or anything. So I'm going to, I don't really have like a super, super white. I mean, I do, but I know it wouldn't look kind of that good. So I'm going to start with a base. This is a L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infused Primer. I know this is a primer, but it's super white. So it's perfect to just use as a little base to add some whiteness. See how it's super white? Just to add a little bit of whiteness nose highlight is super popping. Just like that. See how it's just adding a little bit of like a base? And then for highlight, I'm going to go in with the shade Ethereal. It's so dirty. Next, for underneath the eyes, I'm going to take the Sigma Sultry Shimmering Cream. This is what it looks like. I don't even know what it's for, but it's like a bronzy thing. I'm going to apply that onto my lower lash line. Okay, last but not least for lipstick, I'm going to take the Urban Decay Safe Word. Comfort Matte Lipstick. She's wearing like a pinkish lip, pinkish hueish type of thing, and then she puts some gloss on top of it. Yeah. So then the lip gloss that she has is kind of like a super icy pink, and I feel like she always has like a pinky icy lip. So I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Lip Strobe, and this one is in the shade Fritzy, like that. Her hair is always kind of a little bit just like loose and 
messy i mean sometimes she does do waves but i really like her look when she just has like her straight hair so i hope you guys really enjoyed this makeup tutorial don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it subscribe down below if you guys want more makeup tutorials and that would mean a lot to me if you subscribed and turn on the notification button as well and follow the rest of my social media links which will be somewhere around here because i'm having a huge holiday giveaway oh my god i'm so excited if it already is up before this and i'm having a holiday giveaway right now but yeah i have so many goodies that i'm ready to just regalárselo so very excited for that so make sure to stay tuned for that and i'll see you guys 